this uh, meeting VR application. Uh, all what I'm uh, wearing right now is a headset on my head and I'm holding two joysticks that are uh, replacing my hands. So you see, I can move them in any way that I want. I can, I feel that this is me, but in a cartoonish way. That's the first thing that you will realize when you enter into virtual reality. Then you make an account with Meeting VR and you can continue to your account. Uh, I will go to the team rooms and show you the focus room or the conference room. I think the focus room, you would enjoy it uh, a lot more. So we'll go to this room. Now the room is loading and we will be there instantly. So uh, look here, what I've done is I prepared notes for the six people that will be sitting here. And uh, how would they look like when they sit? I will show you. This is a photo that I took with the CEO and the financial advisor of Meeting VR. So here is the photo. Uh, my avatar is just a um, default one, but for them, uh, they made their avatars look uh, much more like them in real life. And so these avatars will be eventually made much better. But notice one thing, this is an image that I can collect, like if I want to distribute it to people on the table, and you see, I can collect as many of them as I want. And then give each one of them, you can even prepare this room. So if, I, if you click here, you can come on this chair, then you click to come to the second chair and have all your documents here waiting for the people that will be sitting there. And notice that this here is a PowerPoint presentation. So you can show it to everyone because people will be sitting here and will be able to see all of what's going on. Uh, you can also, uh, before I continue, you can go and uh, look outside if you like to uh, check the snow and you can look up. And uh, before I show you this, maybe you should see that you can actually change the environment around you and it would look uh, any environment you like. That's, for example, Germany around you. You really feel that you are inside this room with people. This is great for... Uh, uh, concentration meetings. Uh, so maybe we can put uh, Miami Beach. Let's yeah. do that. And so, uh, yeah, today I feel like having a meeting in Miami Beach. And so this, by the way, the chairs and the tables, replace them in real life by real chairs and real tables. And then what happens is that they uh, first scan the floor and then scan the table to know the height of the table and then you can even rest your hands on the table while you're sitting. You see, I can sit down. Now I have a chair that I'm sitting at and I am resting my hands on what I feel is a table or a desk. So, uh, yeah, imagine that I'm showing them uh, the, these slides and when I move in the slides, they can see everything if they are looking towards this, or if you want it to be more focused, all of us could be sitting down and reading from uh, these together. Or if you want, we can write with this pen. This pen you can hold with your hand. And by the way, it's all like a mouse and a keyboard, these two hands. If you know how to use your mouse, you will get to understand how to do this in less than an hour. It doesn't take that long. Uh, okay, this pen is special. You can write from a distance on it, you see, and you can uh, write on this uh, page and uh, you can leave the pen in the air at any time and make this bigger and then change the color of the pen by rotating a wheel in your hand in the joystick. Okay, and uh, you can, you know, highlight, um, erase if you feel that what you wrote was not right and then show it to people and the nice thing is that this document is really mine. You can see my name here. This is something that I created a while ago. So I was able to transfer it inside VR. And now with it annotated, I can transfer it back to my computer in real life. You see how nice this uh, could be? And 
uh, also videos let's say that you want to show a video to your colleagues so you will go here and I placed it already in my files uh, in the personal files and uh, so uh, before we go to the personal files I'll show you in the demo files there is a shorter video that maybe we can put this one and uh, check this one out this one is nice you see here you can uh, make the volume up to or travel down. to work because take it out just that is the, the beautiful thing is that you can take a video out where you make could it bigger imagine or smaller reality, and, and look at how many i can take out apart because you one could just teleport two there. this is coming where the rules and of give each one of you where you could one. shake your team imagine okay so design uh, like you there is a limit when you have a so see, right now we have three videos that can be playing at once. And uh, of course, if you have a better membership, then you can play six videos to match the number of people that are living, staying here. But in any case, each two can also share one if you don't want to um, use a lot of data or all of us. Let me throw these. You see, you can throw things up or down and to get rid of them. This is a video, remember? You can play yes, it. You could just and this video there. was just transferred from my PC into VR. Uh, okay, the pen is always there. And yeah, and if you want to look at yourself, to see yourself in VR, of course, I will make my avatar better. Uh, it, the thing is, I'm using just the... Um, uh, default avatar which you know it doesn't look like you exactly but you can even take photos uh, or selfies of yourself with uh, this background and then you can collect it from the notes you'll find it here now and you know uh, take it or uh, delete it or cast it there is this option of casting that is very important of course in this room you cannot cast but let me show you because this is a, an important feature go to and we will go to the conference room to show you the casting and that should be it for this short video um, and i will have a second part of this video to show you uh, what meeting vr will offer zaid university Okay, so uh, you just point at whichever chair you want to sit. So let's say that I want to sit in this chair. Then I point at it and with a click of a mouse, kind of like it's on the joystick, I'm sitting there already. And I have the photo that I showed you before. It was sitting on the table. So uh, casting, yeah. So you get your tablet and from files, we can uh, go to personal files. Let's say that I want to do... In Math 214, I want to make people see this, uh, the workbook that I created. So I can take the workbook, give it to everyone. Look how I would give it to everyone. You just point at the chair, put it there, and then go back to your chair. You know, take another one and do the same. Uh, yeah, so if someone even is sitting there, it doesn't matter. You can sit on the chair as two people. It doesn't really matter. You will see two people passing through each other. So what, I, what I'm trying to say is that even if someone is sitting on the chair, if you point at it and you click, you will also sit there and you can put for them what you want. And then you go back to your chair. It doesn't matter whether they're sitting or not, imagine. And each one in this room is in a different country. They only need Wi-Fi to be able to uh, be in this meeting. So uh, I send them just a link and then they click on the link and they can join the meeting. Of course, they need a VR headset in order to be able to see things better. So here, when you uh, say, I want to, yeah, first you choose a file and then you cast. Look, I say casting in the conference room TV or view in 360, that you don't want. You want to conf the conference room TV which is this one here. Let me do it. You see, it came immediately there and I can now show it to people if I wish to do it this way. Okay, but may, uh, so uh, maybe I want to do it another way. Uh, so uh, what would a person do? They can just each one on their tablet. You know, each one has a tablet in VR. It's not just the host. So 
they can all look at your file on their tablet or take it from their tablet and make it as big as they want. You, know, so you see, I will make it even bigger than the one that is on the uh, that is displayed there. And I'll go far to show you what it looks like, you see? And you still you can control it. That is really nice. You don't have to be confined by this space. You can solve it for yourself. So, uh, okay, I hope that this short video made you at least see that this is the future. You can um, do everything that you do in a classroom and more because students can be coming from all around the world and watching you teach. And as I said, uh, writing with the pen, you can uh, write on the uh, thing that it transforms immediately into a whiteboard. I'll show you what I mean. Is that now the pen recognizes it as a whiteboard. So I cannot go through it. The pen just gets stuck here and then you feel that your hand is uh, comfortable and then you can start writing. For example, I'll write the word al for example. See, I feel that there is some vibration when I touch the surface that is making my hand go backwards so that I feel comfortable writing. This is an amazing technology. Also, the fact that you can, from a distance, uh, do these things and that it doesn't really weigh anything. This is like uh, <laughs> nothing. You don't feel like you're holding anything. And you can even put it here and higher. And let's see from the furthest person, what would they see? Yes, see? Nice. So now, uh, I, as I said, you can also walk in this environment. So uh, here I can go to the when The reason why I'm not walking is that I'm in my office and I don't have space. I have uh, furniture everywhere. So if you are in an open uh, space, you can easily walk and go and uh, look outside this window. So for example, this window behind me, I can get closer and closer to it, but now I I hit the wall of my office. That's why I cannot go any further. I just want you to imagine what's going on. Uh, one last thing I think that it's important to mention is uh, that we can use this in testing services. So look at my body. It's just two hands and the face, you know? Uh, so that's all really all what we need from a person, two hands, and their face and the rest of the body is not really important this will also make you see that we can actually create hidden avatars this means that they will see everyone but nobody will see them uh, we call them the virtual jinn and those will be our proctors during tests because imagine that this is a testing room with desks and students would feel that they are sitting on a desk but each one will be staying at their uh, in the comfort of their homes or anywhere in the world. And once they click on the link, they will find themselves sitting in uh, on a chair and in front of them is a table. They can adjust the height of the table. Uh, th this is something that can be done in another room and then make it match the real life table that they have at home. And it can be as big as you want. And then you can put everything that you have on that table and then go over them one by one. Okay, so for testing services, this would be nice because a student would not be able to see anything except what I'm looking at right now. My eyes are kind of confined in this space because I'm wearing the headset. It covers everything. You cannot look outside. The minute you try to remove the headset, the teacher will know that you're trying to do something. What I suggest we do is we have the students first in a pilot class uh, do their tests using this service. That should be the beginning. Another thing that you should notice also, and I should mention, is I will go to another room and show you the last thing in the idea space. That will be our real last thing, because I want you to see that this can be a solution even to people of determination. So here you see that is the idea space. It's in the air. I can walk in this space. You see, now I feel that I'm walking in real life, but of course I'm walking slowly because I'm at my office and I cannot see, uh, I forgot even where I am now in my office. So that's why I'm moving slowly. But notice if someone cannot move and they have their hands, they can just point 
to where they want to go. I can even move, move slowly like this. You see, I can be coming slow, slow, and I can move at the speed of light and just be there. But what I mean by there is anywhere. If you have an open space like this and you just point, you can be there immediately. What we want in the university is to be like this open space where you look around and you can see everything that you expect. You can be in a classroom like this and you know, all of the things here work. You can have circles if you want to draw on a circle. You can get your tablet and write on this and then see it written on the whiteboard there. So this is great for people that want to uh, share their ideas. And even a nicer thing, look at what I can do also. If you point to this by another tablet, it can tell you what's written on it. So if uh, a student is watching me teach and I finished writing on this board, uh, they don't need to write with me. They can just put their tablet facing that uh, whiteboard and they can capture everything in it and then immediately save this and put it in their um, uh, on their uh, laptop or desktop or iPad anywhere. Okay, so again, this technology can make people of determination able to walk again. I would like to tell you also that at the beginning when you use this application, you might get scared from it uh, that, oh, I'm really in this space. But eventually you get used to it and feel that this actually, the idea space is the best place for meetings. That's what I feel personally. Uh, that's why we created Abu Dhabi in this uh, environment, and you can see the entire city. Eventually, we want this uh, uh, idea space ship that you are looking at here to be able to move uh, above the city. So, uh, for example, here you can also look through the, um, the whiteboard and see the rest of it. You can see that uh, there is a swimming pool there. Uh, okay, so many swimming pools. Okay, so you see, and I don't know what else to add more than this is like the best technology that I came across since I started teaching. And I feel that it will be really the future of teaching. Uh,